Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to flash the Vega 56 um, to a Vega 64 BIOS. Very simple. Uh, all you're going to need is two things. You're going to need ATI flash um, 277, which is that one if you're wondering. 277 and you're going to need a Vega 64 BIOS obviously, now if you've got a mate with a Vega 64 card um, that's fairly easy you can get it off him you can just download it by pressing this little button here save BIOS or you can go up onto the um, Tech Power Up website and go on the Video BIOS Collection then just select AMD it doesn't really matter what the vendor is in a Vega 64. Now obviously, if you're watching this in the future and there's non-reference cards, you want to make sure um, if you're using a reference PCB, you get a reference Vega 64 BIOS, because otherwise it's probably not going to work. So at the moment, these are only reference cards. So I've got um, either this one or this one here. I'm not entirely sure which. It's one of those two anyway. So you can download it there, get it on your USB stick or download it on the PC that you're on. Uh, as you can see at the moment, we've got the stock Vega 56 BIOS on. So 1590 on the core and 800 on the memory. We've only got uh, 3584 stream processors. Um, and you can see over here, once we flash the Vega 64 BIOS, uh, we're not flashing, flashing the liquid cooled one today, we're just going to do the standard 64, because obviously mine's a reference card, and uh, quite frankly I don't want it to uh, melt. So, we're just going to flash the standard one. So we're going to go from 1590 slash 800 to... Uh, 1630 slash 945 that's just at stock so the advantages that this gives you is more HBM voltage so normally you can overclock the memory on a Vega 56 to around 925 to 950 megahertz and the core will probably go up to about 1650 to 1720ish um, obviously this is going to give you a higher power limit as well but you can get, if you just wanted the higher power limit for the core you could just use a regedit mod anyway so uh, you can see here we're still on the stock Vega 56 BIOS so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open ATI flash which I already have go on load image then um, wherever you put your BIOS it might be in your downloads folder um, in my case it's in my documents and I have quite a few BIOS uh, BIOSes in here so mine's called uh, vega64vanilla.rom so that's my stock BIOS there which I've saved so before you do this you actually make sure you want to make sure you click this little button here and save your stock vega60 um, 56 BIOS just in case something goes wrong but, yep, select your Vega uh, 56, 64 BIOS, damn it. Can't, I don't know what's going on. And then you basically just press program. And it'll take a few seconds, maybe a minute or two, to program the BIOS onto your, uh, onto your card here. Doing this in real time, I'm not going to speed it up because it doesn't really take that long. Okay, so it says your VBIOS was programmed successfully. So you just press OK. Do you want to reboot the system? Well, it won't actually make a difference until we reboot the system. So I'm going to press yes. So my amazing PC is going to start.
gone on to the uh, DVI port instead of the HDMI. Genius. There we go. There we go. So now to check that our flash has worked. Obviously it's booted up and it's not a black screen, so that's good. So we're gonna just go to GPU Z and check them clocks out. Look at that. So we've got 1630 on the core, 1945 on the memory. We can confirm that over here, Vega 64 BIOS. 1630, 1945, 1630, 1945. Now mine hasn't unlocked any shaders. Uh, I have heard of a few cards becoming Vega 57s or Vega 58s. I haven't seen one fully unlock yet. But you never know, yours might unlock some uh, shaders. Unfortunately mine doesn't. Uh, which is a bit sad, but whatever. Still got the extra HBM voltage, which is really, really useful. Uh, you'll also have a Vega 64 power limit now as well, so you can. Uh, it won't. It won't actually overclock higher in Wattman if you set it by percentage. But what it will do, you'll see the boost speed on here. If you look, will be a lot more consistent on the sensors tab over here. So, yeah. That is it, that is how simple it is to flash a Vega 56 to a Vega 64. Um, that is literally all it takes, 6 minutes. Now if you want to know about the performance, I have a 8 hour live stream <laughs> of me attempting to do this and also play with the power tables a bit as well. Um, and the HBM especially uh, can now overclock to 1100 opposed to 925 on my card so that's a huge improvement my core didn't go much faster but like say the boost curve was or not boost curve but peak sort of boost was much more even so there is that uh, but it's mainly the HBM that gets you the extra performance so yeah that's that's about it for this video uh, I suppose I'll see you in the next video. Uh, watch my live stream. I suggest you start about uh, five hours in, maybe six hours in. Have a skip through, see what kind of performance I'm getting with the stock BIOS, and then see what I'm getting with the. Uh, I think I did the stock BIOS right at the start of the stream, and then the uh, 64 BIOS and the extra power play tables are right towards the back end of the stream. So if you want to see any performance from this uh, mod, just go and watch that. If uh, you fail miserably, and for some reason it black screens or whatever, uh, yeah, there's your little switch, which you've got on your Vega here. That one, wait a sec, finger, there we go. That one there, which you can't see because the camera isn't focused on it properly. Whatever. Just uh, flick that switch over and it'll go back to your stock BIOS on your other one. Don't flash both of them to a 64 BIOS unless you're really stupid. Um, I would recommend leaving the 56 BIOS on there and keeping your 64 on the other one. Um, and then once you've gone back to the other one you can actually flash uh, the first one that you flashed wrong from the second one. So yeah, that is about it. Enjoy your faster Vega 56s or hopefully some people get a Vega 64. Um, if you manage to flash your, if you unlock some shaders, put how many shaders you unlocked in the, uh, the comments below the video. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.